let me show you some of the appliances working from uh, the installation we just concluded before showing you guys the inverter and the battery here we have a 1.5 horsepower uh, media ac working from uh, the inverter which we just installed according to this very uh, ac is 70 percent energy saving now we'll go to where the inverter is installed to see how much energy we are consuming but mind you all these lights you are seeing are also working from the inverter and here we have this big boy which consumes about 300 plus is also energy saving this guy is high sense and it consumes about 330 watts or even 320 watts so let's go to where the inverter is installed to check out the battery and to check out how much energy is being drained so we have to install this system in the kitchen because uh, this is a story building and this is the first floor there is no space aside this kitchen it cannot be installed outside because the person is scared of you know security issues and uh, he don't want to do something extra so we have to install it in the kitchen though there is access to ventilation this window is always open so this is a six kilowatt inverter from uh, uh seawatt and here also is 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery from seawatt uh, but from what i'm seeing now i think the ac impala is consuming more than 1500 watts or even 1200 watts which is uh, uh the the ac in the palo is more than uh 1.5 horsepower this is like two horsepower or even two point something horsepower because if you observe on the inverter screen uh, uh what is being drained is about 2600 watts so on the roof we have uh, eight units of 600 watt solar panels from seawalt all connected in series given to this guy so we generated high voltage with you know uh, minimum current then this guy is doing the rest of the conversion so like i said this is a six kilowatt for ted volt from uh seawalt and here we have uh, the 10 kilowatt hour uh, from seawalt now i observe something with seawalt it means seawalt is actually listening to our complaint if you remember in one of my videos i talk about how seawalt inverter uh, how seawalt batteries come without uh, a percentage display now i observe something when i just installed this battery i discovered that seawalt have now uh, upgraded the the battery now shows percentage you can see it we have 53 percent left on this battery bank right so and also is like it's showing us the number of hours it will take the battery to drain out it's showing us 2.2 hour that's two hour 20 minutes so it's a very good one that see what is actually listening to us if you have an inverter that does not communicate or that will not be able to communicate with this 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery you don't have to worry because the battery will tell you the number of hours you have left on your battery bank it will also tell you the, uh, the percentage left on your battery bank that's a good upgrade from seawatt so uh the system comprises of eight unit of 600 watt solar panels a unit of uh six kilowatt inverter and a unit of 10 kilowatt hour 48 volt lithium battery the rest of the accessories everything inclusive will cost you about 4.2 million era the ac in the palo is 2.5 horsepower because when it was on our load rise to about 2600 watts so the ac in palo is more than 1500 watts so it will not be working on the inverter but there is something i still observe uh, that's why i decided to do this video that means my hunch earlier was not wrong about the number of hours it would take you to drain the battery out when the ac was on uh the, the load that was being drained or the power that was being drained was 2600 watts and the battery displayed that uh it would take about two hour 20 minutes for the battery to drain out so we decided to put the ac off immediately we put the ac off now the battery is showing us that for this uh battery bank to go empty in 90 dod 90 percent dod it will take the battery 34 hours running 400 watts so if you are draining 400 watts from this 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery it will take you 34 hours to drain it out completely and the reason why it's even showing you this 34 hour uh, the battery is not 100 percent the battery is about 50 something percent so for you to drain out this 50 something percent or 50 sorry for you to drain out this 52 percent it will take you 34 hours that means if you have up to 100 percent and you're consuming 400 watts it will take you about uh, 68 hours or even 66 hours to drain out the battery bank so uh like i said earlier see what are actually listening to us when we make complain because the initial design doesn't have all this feature it will just show you the battery bar and the battery voltage but now the battery is showing the number of hours 
it will take to charge the number of hours it will take to drain out and the battery percentage so whether your inverter communicates your with your battery bank or not you are on a safer side because when it reaches 100 percent you know not like before that you just be checking bars to see how much how many bars or how much energy you have left in your battery bank so that's a good uh that's a good upgrade from seawards so keep doing that